So we meet again, fish heads. It is now the middle of the week. I think it's Wednesday. Still in the shop, still doing some fairly sizable orders. Um, again, a lot to get through. I had a good bit of fun yesterday. Um, got to paint and get a little creative and get outside the box, um, but I had to finish up another order here. So let's get through this part of it and then we'll jump over into the fun stuff. And actually when I say fun stuff, that's part of the fun stuff as well. First thing up, we have a showstopper in that holographic S-crank. Got a little bit of uh, layering going on with that exposed segmenting. Gives the appearance of a depth to this crawl pattern. And it's quickly becoming one of my favorites and you guys apparently are really loving it too. Um, this is going to be the updated version of the Showstopper. Um, I've pretty much stopped making the old Showstopper because this is just such a cooler pattern and it's much more lifelike, much more realistic. So there we have that one. This is the Money Craw 2. I do two Money Craws. One is a bit more colorful than the other. The other is more of a, a traditional match the hatch type pattern. It's got a little bit of random splatter and those white craw dots. These uh, green with red pupil eyes come from Dinger, dingerbaits.com. You have to, you have to kind of sift through. Sometimes he has these in stock, sometimes not. Um, it all depends on what he can acquire at the moment. This is on that holographic foiled S crank. This is the Neon Pumpkin, chosen specifically for color. Does not have an ear flap on it, which is intentional. Very good reactive bait. And as you can see, we just pulled the, uh, the gunk off of the eyelets. So if you notice a little bit of, it almost looks like dust on it, it's not. It's just, it's very temporary. We have a red crush. This is a killer pattern for the fall. I love painting this for the fall. One of my faves. Just that multicolored red into a yellow. Reflective chrome eyes. Call those the walleye eyes. Which are also usually available at Dinger as well. And then some random white splatter on that. Super cool pattern. One of my favorite fall patterns. You guys should th be throwing this. And again, all this stuff that we're going to feature today is available on the website. It's www.jekyllbaits.com. This is the Toxic Craw. A little bit different of a craw pattern. This is one of my older styles as well. Um, but a fun, fun craw pattern nonetheless. You've got, God, that clear coat. KBS, I tell you what. If you guys are in the States... Um, and I believe it's available in Canada. There's, there's just, for ease and overall cost, and you can see that this is definitely a portrayed three-dimensional image on this as well. But KBS is just a super, 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 super clear coat. And we've got those toxic yellow eyes. These, these eyes, and I have resolved my issues with Lower Parts Online. Um, so you can pick these eyes up from Lower Parts Online. Uh, I don't know if you guys tuned in to one of the last workshop updates, but I was a little bit heated because they sent some, and I was a customer and a client order, and I ended up, um, I think I've resolved the issue with the customer as well. So they sent an order to the wrong address twice, and um, which doesn't make any sense. But the, I spoke with somebody at Lower Parts Online, and they made it right for me, and they were super apologetic. And, and again, it's it's the first time that issue's happened with them, so you always want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Second chances are not a bad thing. Um, but they they went above and beyond to restore my confidence in them, so way to go to Lower Parts Online. But those chrome eyes that I picked up earlier, this is the uh, El Diablo Shad. 
another fantastic fall bait. Y'all need to be thinking about red, 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 red. Super color in the fall and the winter. This is the Toxic Crappie. And this, this is uh, a, a heavy order of S cranks and square bills from a customer up in Washington. So thank you, Lee, Mr. Lee, for this fantastic order. It almost reminds me of a red-breasted robin a little bit. You guys see that in there? Except the, the green, the fluorescent green kind of throws that off. But I've been thinking about robins because we actually have them on migration right now down in Arkansas, down here. Another killer crawl pattern. This is the original money crawl pattern. And a 2.5 rattling holographic square bill. Now, these 2.5 holographics and 1.5 holographics, you can pick those up at Predator. The S-Cranks exclusively, exclusively dinger. And uh, he's, got, he's got the best S-Crank out there, and, unless you go to the Mega Bass site directly. But again, there's that Money Crawl, the original Money Crawl. Lots of craws. Lots and lots. I haven't done this pattern in a while. This was on the specialty line. This is the wild hog. It's got those dragon eyes in it. Little mid diver. Also a good color combination. This would probably be, I would say, smallmouth walleye. Pike could probably pick this up or a pickerel. That iridescent purple fading back into an iridescent orange. So you will have a little bit. When I say iridescent, if you guys are not familiar with the different types of paints out there, just to expand on that just a little bit. So iridescent paints usually are color shifting a little bit. They'll, they'll kind of shimmy and shift colors from light to dark in that shade uh, when they're on Allure. Or cars use that iridescent to, to color shift as well. Transparent is a clear or see-through kind of a color. Pearlized has got that crushed powder, glitter powder in it. So, and then opaques you really can't see through. This is a lightning and a 2.5. Also holographic, you can see it's a little bit more subtle in this because we just did the, the holographic underlay and the veining over top of that. But you can still see that holographic image or foiled image. There's your lightnings. And classic wounded minnow. Bright yellow, good reflectivity, much more of that. This is, this is what that holographic image looks like on these dingers. And this is probably the best example because you can really see that shine and shimmer and all the colors in the spectrum come out to play and the the blank itself looks a lot like that when you get them and then just you, you, i almost like to exclusively use uh, lighter transparent paints with these so that you can when you're painting over top of them you can still see that reflectivity in the hologram that's in this bait underneath so that's just a little little tip. Here's a copper crawl. Almost an old world crawl. This is very match the hatch. That orange fading up into a sepia. And some yellow and black and white crackle underneath. Really gives that interpretation of a living crawl. Also, you can see the, the shimmy underneath because the veining was done. These are all done on holographics. The customer wanted nothing but holographics, which is cool. And then that final S, little iridescent blue, also a money crawl, a version of a money crawl, but a little more natural, not quite as bold on the coloring. A little blush orange 
on the throat and chest. And you can see that underneath you've got that holographic image. But we're not quite done yet. So I got, um, I started doing snake heads a couple of weeks ago. I was goofing around with patterns and I've got some stencils, a lot of the stencils that I use and those are available. There's links below for all that comes from Art Tools, which is available online on the web. A lot of people sell it. Amazon sells it. That is the affiliated link that I have down below. But I got to, uh, I got a couple of, uh, colleagues in the area that uh, that do some pretty phenomenal stenciling and this one in particular this stencil comes from Corey Van Vonderen it is a really good and he he cut a snakehead pattern stencil for me specifically for me and then that allowed me to go in and do a much better interpretation of a snakehead pattern so this this is a a reusable stencil that I sprayed in the black onto this. This is a Rebel. You can see it's a, an actual Rebel here that I've done in a snakehead pattern. So Corey Van Vonderen, you can find him on the Fishtails page. Um, and you know what? I've got so many lures in front of me. If I've featured this prior, my apologies. But uh, go find him. You can find him on Bass Baits Buy and Barter. He's one of the, my fellow admins and colleagues. He's an amazing image painting fool. And you can also find him on the web and on Facebook at Fishtails. He runs and owns a tackle shop. And uh, also a pretty good walleye guide, ice fisherman. And uh, they're really starting to see some yellow perch up there, up his way too. So go check out Corey Van Vonder and go find him on Facebook. I can leave you his link below. But really, really great stencils. Also, I always recommend Russ Allen at Insane Custom Stencils. You can find him on YouTube. You can find him on the web. You can find him on Facebook as well. So Russ Allen, Corey Van Vonderen. This, happy Halloween, you guys. This is a mummy. My, uh, my second attempt at a, at a mummy pattern. And I think uh, I came pretty close on this one. I used actual gauze and bandage to, uh, and it's not an image, this is all hand painted, so this is not an imaged bait. But you can definitely see where I've wrapped this thing and then sprayed over it and then created shading and shadows. So, lots of fun making this bait. And I'm extremely happy with the way it came out. And it's got those toxic eyes. So there's your Halloween pattern. Thus far, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of fun and paint a few more before the week is out, before October comes to a close. This was my first pass at it. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Come on now. There's the focus. I always have problems with this camera and focusing. So this was the first run. This is a little bit deeper of a pattern, and I like this one, but you can definitely see the mummy patterns a little bit easier in this one, and the shading is better. So I made a couple of passes. This was the first one. I like this too. Um, so the mummy with snake eyes. And then last but certainly not least, we have a gold shimmer iridescent crawl pattern with that exposed segmentation and this is in that dinger pressed LJMD50 with a thick bill. It's a medium diver, seven to nine feet. That's it for the day. You guys have a fantastic hump day and rest of your week. Thanks for hanging out on the channel. I always appreciate you guys. You mean a lot and I appreciate the patronage. You guys take care. We'll see you on the water. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.